Hi, I'm Grant Wagner with Bone Center Implements here in Northeast Iowa. Today I'm going to be walking through the creation of a setup file for AutoPath, as well as sending that setup file to your Gen 4 display. Once your source operation is documented and successfully uploaded to your Operation Center account, the first thing you need to check is to see if AutoPath is enabled within your Operation Center account. To do this, go to your preferences, which you can find here. Under settings, scroll down until you find AutoPath. In this case, it's already on, but by default, it is usually off. So to turn it on, you can toggle it back and forth here and then click save. Now you're ready to generate a setup file to use AutoPath. To do that, we start by going to setup and setup file creator. Now select your display type and for this example we are going to be using a 4600 display. So that falls under the first selection. It's going to be a demo. Now we need to filter down by fields with AutoPath data. To do this you can go over to AutoPath. You can also filter down by the operation you want to use. In this case, we want to use the most recent seeding AutoPath file. It will automatically select the most recent seeding AutoPath file, which looks like this. Select Next. Select your tractor and implement. In this case, we're using a side dress bar to apply 32%. If you wish, you can add an operator as well. Now it'll give us a summary of the setup file we are about to generate. The main thing you want to pay attention to is to make sure you have AutoPath files right here. We can click create file. Now it will give you the option to either create without sending, which will download it to your computer desktop, or you can send it remotely by wireless data transfer. In this case, we will send it remotely to this machine. That should conclude the setup file creation. Now we're in the cab here, I'm working on a 4600 display, and the first thing we want to do is make sure that our Automation 4.0 subscription is activated and that we have AutoPath. So to do that, we can go to Menu, Systems, Software Manager, and then your Activations tab. So here we can see we have the AutoPath is activated but it's still on demo time for the purposes of this video. So next we want to import our setup file that we created into this display. In this situation we have sent it remotely via our 4G MTG and up top here you can see by this little icon we have a file received. We will select import received files. And here you can see the demo one setup file that we created from the operations center. And click next. Now you can see here that it will show you what is included in the setup file you're about to import. For this example, our auto path lines are included as well as any setup data, which would include any machine offsets or implement data that you've selected in your setup file. 
we can select import. And our data was successfully imported. At this point here, AutoPass Setup Files should be ready to use. Please refer to our YouTube page where you can find additional videos on AutoPath as well as AutoPath in action. I'll place a link in the description to that video.